If you want to make a six-figure sale by the end of the year, you should definitely add this product to your store. Last year, digital planners were the top-selling digital product on Etsy. People are making a lot of money simply by creating digital planners. So, in this video, I'll show you how to make a digital planner for all-time trending niche fitness using Canva in a very easy and simple way. I'm also giving away this planner. To find out how to get this 58 pages digital planner, watch the entire video and don't skip any part of it, otherwise, you'll miss out on the giveaway. So let's get started. To begin, open Canva and select the size of your digital planner. I'm using 8.5 inches by 11 inches. Our document has been opened. I will title my document Fitness Planner. Now I'll upload the color palette I created in advance for the digital planner. The color palette will make it easier for me to choose colors for my planner. This is the color palette I've chosen for my fitness planner. Then I'll make my side tab buttons. Take the square from the element and place it on the page side. Now I'll use the color palette to fill in the color in my side tabs. I'll use the color picker to choose the correct color from my palette for my tab buttons. All of the side tabs have been colored in. I'll then give my side tabs names. Choose text from the side menu and enter a name for the tab. Starting with goal for my first one. This font does not look good, so I will replace it with the Poppins font. Let's make the font color white so it looks nice. To create a good design, you should always use the correct color. I'll also change the font size to 12 inches. Likewise, I'll name all of the side button tabs. The naming of the side tab has been completed. I created a total of 8 side tabs for my fitness planner. My first tab is called Goal, then Meal, then Workout, then Habits, then Weight Loss, then Measurement, then Water Intake, and finally Steps. Now we must create the first page of our digital planner, which will be the Goal page. You can design it yourself or use a pre-made template from Canva and modify it. I use pre-made templates because they save me a lot of time. Here you can look for Goal Planner templates. There are several templates to choose from, as you can see. You can choose between free and paid options. I like this one. It asks that you add a template to a new page. Mark this and add it to the new page. We now have a fitness goal planner template. Copy this from here and paste it here. And after, I will modify this template to fit my planner theme. First, I'll change the fonts. I'll use the Montserrat Classic font in place of this one for the heading. I'll use size 42 for this. Now I'm going to change the font style for this subheading as well, to pop it. Choose change all. As you can see, our main heading font has also changed, which I will correct. I'm going to use the same Montserrat Classic font. It looks better now. I'll then change the color of the boxes. Let's start by changing the color of the top boxes. Guys, in the coming days, I will be providing you with more graphic design videos related to print on demand and digital planner, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the press icon to receive notifications for all videos. The color filling of the top boxes is completed. Now I'll change the color of these boxes. I'm filling out all of the boxes with colors from my color palette. Finally I will change the remaining one. As you can see, I changed the color of the Canva pre-made templates to match my theme, and it looks great. My first page of my fitness planner is finished. Now, go to File, View Settings, Show Rulers and Guides, for proper margins. Always use rulers and guides when creating your design. Copy this tab to the second page. Don't forget to give your pages a name. That's what I'm doing. Now we must create the second page of our planner. Let's look for a meal planner template. 
The best part about Canva is that you can choose from a variety of pre-made templates. This one looks very good. Copy and paste this onto the second page. Your design margin should always be adjusted. Remove all of the extra elements from this page. After that, I'll change the first heading font to match my theme. Also, make the font size 42. Change the font size of this subheading. Then after I will change the boxes according to my planner theme. It's done. It's finished. Name this page meal. Give a name to each of your pages. This is my Sunday meal page. My next page will be Monday meal. Make a meal plan for each day of the week from Sunday to Saturday. Let me give you an example. Duplicate this page and we now have the exact same page. Name this page meal Monday because I'm making this planner for Monday. This one is for Monday, so put this box behind Monday. It's finished. You can do the same for each day. Next, we must design the remaining pages for the other side tab. I'm not going to show you how to make all of the side tab pages, but you can do so by using a pre-made Canva template or by creating your own design. You use the template search bar to find all pre-made templates and keep adding them to the side tab pages. I've already done that, so let me show you the entire contents of my planner. This is my entire planner page, as you can see. Check this out, I've finished all 7 meal planner pages. This is my workout page, I also used a Canva template for it. Then there's the habit tracker page. This is a weight loss tracker page. I've also created month by month tracker pages for it. There are pages for each month of the year. Following that, I created a measurement tracker for all 12 months so you can track your monthly progress. My next side tab page is a water intake page, which also has a monthly and weekly planner. You can track your water intake daily and write it in the boxes. The entire year is included. Step tracker is my final tab. Here are the days. And here is the step column, where you can record your daily step count and track your progress for the entire month. Remember to always name your pages. Naming makes hyperlinking to tabs simple. Now I'll show you how to link your tabs to specific pages. Let's connect the first tab, Goal. To do so, click here and then choose your page. I've already named mine, so choose Goal. Remove the underline and repeat the same process for this one. Similarly, you can hyperlink all of your side tabs. Let me also show how to link subheadings. Choose this, then click here, then choose your page, and it will be linked. For next day, repeat the same process. You can link all of the tabs in the same way, but make sure you link in all of the pages or it will not work. I've linked this page, so let me finish page linking for all tabs and show you how it works in the end. But first, I'd like to tell you about a giveaway. I'm giving away this 58-page planner to all of my audience to get it. You must follow our Facebook group and page, and I've provided a download link in the group. You can get this planner from there. I'll be giving away more stuff in the coming days, so you must follow the group and our Facebook page.
please see the description box for joining the group and page. After completing this, you can download it in PDF format from here. This is my 58-page planner, as you can see. Let's see how the tabs work. And here you can see tabs are working. This weekday planner buttons are also functional. As you can see, all of the pages are changing. This is a complete hyperlink planner. You can also create multiple planners in different niches and earn a lot of money. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial on creating a 58-page fitness planner. Please like, share, and leave a comment about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.